So the closer we get to the release of NBA 2K25, the more complaints you see posted, the more negative comments you'll see. And I, I don't understand it because people are starting to look at 2K now like they're the abuser, like they're the villain. And I can say this, if someone is in an abusive relationship, say you're in a relationship, relationship with someone and they do you wrong, they cheat on you or they hit you or something like that, then I'm going to feel bad for you. I'm going to be on your side. But if they keep doing it and then you keep taking them back, you keep rem you, you keep making the choice to remain in the relationship. Well, after a while, I'm looking at you like well, par apparently you're into the abuse. Apparently you like this. If you go to a coffee shop and they continuously get your order wrong, like you go there every day and they never get your order right. But after like two weeks of it, you're like, hey, why are you? Why am I still going here? Why do I still continue to give this coffee shop my money? You gotta start looking at yourself as the problem. I don't look at 2K as the problem because I'm sure that they have executives in their offices who read the negative comments and then 30, 30 seconds later go and check their bank account and say, huh, I think everything's fine. It's not their fault, it's our fault. We're a monkey see, monkey do society. We're gonna keep copying. We're gonna keep doing what everybody else is doing and everybody else is gonna keep buying the game. So we're gonna keep buying the game because everybody else is buying the game. And Carlos Story and Troy Dan and HTB and Bio2K, they're gonna keep opening packs. They're gonna keep on opening packs, spending money opening packs. Cause those pack openings aren't free. The auction house is gone. So that MT and that VC isn't free. They have to pay money for that. And 2K cashes in that money. And then we see those videos and it's monkey see monkey do. We want to open packs too. We want to be like them. We want to have the best cards as soon as they come out too. Even if it's at the beginning of the year and they're just rubies and amethyst and diamond cards. We're not even going to wait for the 99s to come out before we start spending money. No, we're going to do it for the lower tier cards because that's what the YouTubers are doing. That's what they're showing everybody. It happens everything it happens the same way in the hip-hop community like you know they have all these uh, rap videos that show violence they show guns they show money they show drugs you know they show jewelry and they show a certain lifestyle and then the kids on in the streets want to emulate that same lifestyle and they go out there and try to copy what they see in the movies and in the videos and you can't do that in real life you end up getting killed or arrested trying to live out a, a movie script trying to live out a, a, a fantasy depicted on screen it's the same thing that happens in 2K. People see all these pack openings. They see people like Brother Jones make a, a build every week, drop 50 on it, get it up to uh, 85 real quick. They see a lot of people do that. They, they, they see YouTubers have fun with this game in a way that they can't and it makes them want to do it too. So it's going to keep getting repeated over and over and over again because that's what's being shown. They, they, the YouTubers have to do it because they're keeping up with each other. They can't be having their account, you know, with more money on it than you. 2K wins in the end. And we're the reason they're going to keep the game the way it is because we keep spending money on it. We're not going to stop because well, the reason we're not going to stop is because we want to keep up with each other. It would take a very strong person to organize this entire community and say, we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to buy the game. You're going to have to be like on a Gandhi type level, like Martin Luther King or, you know, like some great historical leader to organize this community and actually stop the madness. That was just going to stay the way it is. And that just makes sense because their bottom line is the dollar. And that's what we're giving them. Who cares about complaints? Our complaints don't cost them anything. Don't you understand? Our complaints can be taken with a grain of salt because in the end, we still buy the game. You, if, you're, if you click on this video, it's because you're interested in 2K25 already and you want to buy the game. You want to buy the game. Eventually, we have to stop blaming 2K and start taking a look at ourselves and say, no matter what our mouths say, no matter what our fingers type, our wallets keep telling 2K that everything is okay. Let me know how you guys feel down in the comments. Until the next time, I have something for you. It's been me, your boy, E.C. Rollo, and I'm out. Thank you. Come again.